What? <laughs> Come on, hurry up. My feet are cold. <laughs> You're marching. I'm marching? Because it's like little little fidget footprints. <laughs> Which one did my stomach first now? Oh Lord. Feet are cold already. quick test fit to make sure that I got everything right and square remember if you're doing this yourself these three middle pieces are going to be an eighth of an inch shorter than your two outside pieces this one that I'm doing for the giveaway like I said I'm going to incorporate some changes to this that I don't have in mind but I'm going to also include two extra center pieces and one extra end piece that way if something happens and you drill one or you screw one up, you'll have one to replace it because I know this lab tabletop material is going to be hard for everybody to find. So I'll include some extra pieces for it. This middle piece, I was going to cut out a disc in it and do a replaceable insert for it. I'm not crazy about that on drill press tables. I've had a couple that I've built that were like that. What ends up happening sometimes is your drill bit gets stuck in that and you go to lift your piece and now that piece is getting tore all up or it's lifting out or something goofy is happening with it. So what I'm going to do with this is this middle piece I'm going to end up cutting it and there will be a section that will remove right there and I will actually add a couple of those along with the rest of these to it. pieces cut out for the X and the Y. I've tried doing this thing multiple ways. I've actually, uh, I don't know, I'm going to say about six or eight of these things that I've attempted to make. This ends up being about three inches thick and I've already had guys tell me that's not going to work on a tabletop drill press. I have the lathe that I made out of the tabletop drill press. I still have the stand and the base and everything for it. I'm going to put it back together and show you that it will work you may have to remove the table and if if it's a height issue that you can't use the table and adjust it up and down or get it down low enough to to get a bit in there or whatever it is you're doing if the table's not in play and it's bolted right straight to the base then you really don't have to go up and down do you this is going to weigh i don't know i'm going to guess i'm going to guess at somewhere around 15 pounds maybe maybe a little bit more this stuff is not light, but if you make it, you can make it out of plywood. I've actually done that. I just have this lab tabletop material. It's very stout stuff, so I decided to use this. I can cut out pieces out of here by adding the runners for the X and Y together, but then it gets rocking motion to it. To avoid that, I bolt each one of them to a plate so that's where the thickness comes in you know you can make it thinner but when you go thinner with it you start losing some of that quality and accuracy 
I've tried doing this with drawer runners. I've tried painting the drawer runners to make them stiff. I've tried all kinds of things. This design here has no movement to it whatsoever. And I like that when I go to set a jig up in there and I'm going to do multiple pieces, I want to know if I start one piece when I get to the 10th piece or the 30th piece that it's still going to put the hole in the exact same spot that it hasn't moved at all. But now that I've got all these pieces cut out, I have the grooves cut out for the, the bolts, for the lockdown, for the hold downs. Now that everything's cut out, I'm going to get it all laid out and get everything drilled and start bolting this thing together.